my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today we are going to be making a 10 minute ice box cake. Now that 10 minutes does not include any refrigeration time. This is just the assembly of the dessert itself, which sounds fabulous. A dessert in 10 minutes, you could do it the day before, let it sit overnight, and then you're off to your picnic, to your cookout with a dessert ready to go. Now this recipe came to me via Food52, via Kenji Lopez Alt, and he learned it from his wife, Adriana, who learned it from her aunt, Gloria. And it's a Colombian dessert that only requires four ingredients and 10 minutes of work, and it's supposed to taste absolutely smashing. Now, in terms of flavor, it is very reminiscent of a key lime pie, but we don't have to deal with any crust or any baking, any raw eggs, any whipping of eggs. Nope. We're just going to use four magic ingredients. In fact, this is very similar to the Carlota di Limon recipe I did a couple years ago. I'll put a link to that down below. Another icebox cake that uses lime juice, condensed milk. That one uses evaporated milk and Maria cookies. Fabulous recipe. This one's slightly different and I really want to try it because it uses crackers. Now Kenji's recipe recommends Ritz crackers because they're readily available here in the US, but in Colombia they use these and these are ducales and these are a buttery cracker and I thought I would do half the recipe with the ducales and half with the Ritz just so I can have a little side by side comparison. I ordered this from the internet. Give thanks to the internet for things like getting Colombian crackers here in New England. But Let's give these a taste. I've never had them before. So these are the Colombian crackers, ducales, that are typically used to make this dessert. And let's open them up. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're double wrapped. Oh, cool. So within this package, there are two smaller packages. Great. We're going to compare that side by side with Ritz crackers. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Look how they're perforated. You see that? So you can take one big cracker and break it into six. I love that. Let's try to do it. Oh, snaps beautifully. Oh, yes. Look, you can make a little tiny sandwich, like a little cheese sandwich. Look how tiny it is. Oh, I love it. Alrighty, let's give them a taste. Here we go. It's a Rocky Mouse. Wow. Very similar to a Ritz cracker. That's just based on my memory. Very light crunch, short, crisp, with a buttery flavor. But just off the top of my head, it doesn't seem as salty, but very similar. Mm-hmm. Just different shape. All right, now let's try the Ritz cracker. Mmm. I'm so glad I'm doing this side by side because memory says yes, identical, but when you have side by side, not. Ritz cracker is a little bit thicker mm -hmm. and a little denser. Ducales are a little lighter. Mm -hmm. Lighter and airier, but in terms of flavor, almost identical. Mm -hmm. Pretty good dupe, I would say. Pretty good dupe if you can't find the Ducales crackers. So what I'm going to do is do a side by side. I'm going to make half with Ducales and half with Ritz, and then we'll taste them and see if it makes any difference at all with the final product. So from my understanding, this recipe is very popular in Latin America, the Americas. And as I mentioned earlier, I did a Mexican version called the Carlota de Limon, which uses a biscuit cracker. So if you would like to make this your own, you certainly could use any kind of cookie you like. I've heard versions of this made with graham crackers. I think that would taste a little bit more like what I imagine a key lime pie would taste like with a graham cracker crust and this kind of sweet, tangy lime filling. Having said that, I'm very curious and intrigued to see what savory crackers taste like in this application as opposed to the Maria biscuits I used last time. So we'll need a large bowl and we'll also need some heavy cream and a whisk, condensed milk. Oh, I was gonna start mixing, but I need lime juice. So before I get a little ahead of myself, <laughs> we're going to juice some fresh limes. Now, what is so kind of magical about this recipe is that the 
pudding kind of mixture that we add to the layers of crackers. It's just a combination of three ingredients, heavy cream, condensed milk, and lime juice. But there's a magic and alchemy that happens when the acid from the limes interacts with the proteins in the dairy products, it coagulates and tightens those proteins and it causes it to turn into this kind of puddingy texture. It just feels magical and totally worth trying. So I've got some washed limes here and we also need the zest of these. So I'll have, I have a couple extra. We need a half a cup of lime juice. As I've mentioned in previous videos, lime juice is phytophotic, I believe the term is. You, I'm sure, will correct me in the comments below if I use the wrong term. But I got phytophotodermatitis from lime juice, learned it the hard way. But that is a long version of say, or complicated way of saying that this will react with UV light, the sun. So if you get lime juice on your hands and you go in the sun, it will cause a chemical burn. And sometimes they call it margarita burn or bartender's burn because bartenders sometimes muddle limes for their drinks and don't wash off all the lime juice and you get burns. Now I learned this the hard way my sons and I did. We were making limeade. We went to, we were actually at Disneyland and the next day we had terrible burns and in the form of, of splashing from squeezing limes. So be aware. All right, get back to juice and limes. So I have this wonderful citrus juicer. I found this at a thrift store. I think it's from the 50s or 40s based on its look. It has some chipped enamel, but it doesn't bother me because look at that shine. It has a great handle. It's called the Juice-O-Matic. You lift this up and that's where we'll place our orange, lime, lemon. I even use this with small grapefruits and you just crank it down. Love it. Very effective juicer. So I will do this until I have half a cup of lime juice. Oh, it smells so good. Almost there. All right, that might be enough. Let's see. Indeed, perfect. So to a large bowl, two cups of heavy cream. Whoop, look at that, that's gorgeous. And two 14 ounce cans of condensed milk. Another can. Now that we have those, we're gonna give this a quick mix. And already, this looks beautiful. It looks like ice cream base, which you can use condensed milk for, by the way. It makes a beautiful ice cream base. So right now, it's beautiful, and I want to see, I want you to see the texture. The texture's still very runny, thick but runny. See that? Just runs right off. Now, in goes the lime juice. Just dump it in. So we're gonna mix it for about a minute. And already, can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so cool! Instantly, it gels into like a pudding. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I didn't even stir it yet, but see how it's doing that? Yes. So instantly it's creating this kind of custard, like a pudding in texture. It's really quite magical. So we're supposed to stir this for about a minute. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. It's just magic, magical, magical, magical. And when we scoop it, on our spatula, look, the difference in texture. And then it leaves a nice kind of puddle at the bottom. Beautiful, love it, that's it. So now we're going to assemble the icebox cake. You can use any kind of shallow casserole dish or pan, but because I'm making two different versions, I'm going to use two small pans. Base of the pan, we're adding our custard. Look how thick that is. Yo, it's like pudding. So awesome. So I'm gonna add a half cup to the bottom of each of these pans. Spread it on the bottom, just so we have a layer. I don't think I mentioned this, but the final result of this dessert is that the crackers in this case, or cookies, is going to absorb this custard and turn into a cakey textured dessert without me baking. Perfect for summertime, perfect for, you know, a low lift 
dessert that you can bring to a potluck. Okay, so we've got it in an even layer and we're going to just line a layer of crackers. So this is gonna be my Ritz one. And we're gonna to continue to do this until we run out of custard. And the final layer will be custard on top. I'm going to break these so they fit on the sides as well. There's the Ritz version. Now for the Ducales version. Oh, this is great because we got these great big sheets. And they're square. <gasps> yes, this is so satisfying. It's like tiling. You ever watch those tiling videos where they show professional tilers and you're like, oh, that's so, and then they wiggle the tile into the mortar and you're like, yes, wiggle it and get it like perfect. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not the only one here, so yes, you all know what I'm talking about. Oh, now we're going to make a little, oh, it fits perfectly. I did not even measure. <gasps> I'm so, so pleased. Oh, look at that. Perfectly tiled. I love how they're perforated so that I can fit them perfectly in there. <sighs> okay, we're going to continue. Another layer of custard. Bloop. Bloop. You don't even have to measure the layers if you don't want to, but I want to, so I am. Once we use up all of our custard, we will cover this and then place it in the refrigerator and refrigerate it at least two hours, if not overnight. Overnight is even better because then the crackers will have enough time to absorb the custard and be even cakier. So I will return. I'm gonna let these rest overnight because I want an ice box cake and we'll give these a taste. All right, my lovelies, see you in a little bit. Alrighty, my lovelies, it has been a full 24 hours since I placed my ice box cakes into the refrigerator and now we're going to slice them up and give them a taste. Now, one of these I've marked with the letter D, so I know that's the Ducales, and this one is the Ritz. So they look pretty much the same as they did when I placed them into the refrigerator. Like that. And for a little garnish and for a little extra flavor i'm going to add some lime zest i've already washed my lime i've got a microplane here and doing this upside down i have learned is the best way to get the zest you just want the green part oh it smells so good that's going to give us some color and flavor oh my gosh look how beautiful look at those little flecks of green so bright oh it's so fragrant so fragrant okay so i'm going to put it over the entire cake and then i'm also going to add a little extra when i slice See this little flex? Look how cute. Ding. Yes. Okay, this one is the Ducales. Okay, great. So I'm gonna cut myself a slice. It feels just like a cake. It's solidified. Mm -hmm. Make sure we get all the way down. Beautiful. Look. See that? can see the layers of crackers have softened up and it looks like cake as long as they don't drop it. Let me put it on the plate. Can you see that? Isn't that great? You can see the layers, but it's all softened up. We'll do a corner slice here as well. Ooh, this one feels a little bit firmer than the Ducales as I'm cutting it. Feel a little bit more resistance. Beautiful. This one too absorbed all of the custard and looks like cake. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. So cool. All right, now we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side taste. And if you wanna add a little garnish, you can do a lime twist. Slice the lime into a little disc like that. And then we're gonna cut a little radius. Slice into the radius like that. And then we can twist it. little decoration like that. 
cute, right? All right, let's give our icebox cakes a taste. Let's try the Colombian version first. Ooh, look at that. Slices beautifully. So for the last layer of custard, I had a little bit more than a half a cup, and I think that's a great idea because then it gives you a nice even layer so you can hide any evidence of the crackers. And when you cut it, it looks like it's got a layer of frosting or something on top. All right, let's give this a taste. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm. Really good. Mmm. It finishes so creamy and rich. The texture is just melt in your mouth soft. It's not quite like a cake. It is very moist, but it's certainly not crunchy like a cracker at all. You definitely can taste some of the buttery flavors from the crackers and the salt in there as well. But the lime in combination with the milk is so good. The combination of rich dairy flavors, buttery flavors with citrus works really well. Mm-hmm. Mm. And perfect balance of sweet and tartness. Okay, let's compare that with the Ritz cracker version. This one is firmer, harder to slice. And you can get a better look of the layers there. Alrighty, let's try this one. Mmm. So in the Ritz version, the layers are a little bit more distinctive than the Ducales version. The Ritz crackers have a little bit more structure left to them rather than kind of just completely melting, which makes sense because it was a sturdier cracker. Definitely taste the buttery Ritz cracker flavor, which makes this really different than the Carlotta di Limon recipe that I tried that uses the Maria biscuits. That one was a little bit more like a kind of graham crackery crust. Well, this one definitely tastes kind of buttery. It's a little bit more like a pie crust flavor as opposed to a graham crust flavored pie. You know what I mean? Although neither one of these tastes like pie either, <laughs> nor do it taste like cake. It's an interesting dessert of its own. The flavors are very reminiscent of key lime pie but so much easier to make in my opinion. No fuddling with a crust at all. You just whip up your custard in 10 minutes. It really does just take that little bit of time and layer everything up. You can be noodly like I was to get it all perfect, but you can do it much, much faster and then have a dessert in the refrigerator in 10 minutes and then break it out for your party the next day. So easy. Mm -hmm. I like the lime flavor. I feel like the lime zest is really important here. It makes it really zingy and bright and smells so lovely and perfumed of lime flavor. It's lovely. And that's a little counterintuitive. You think with all that lime juice in there, it would be perfumed with lime. And my experience, the lime juice offers most of the tang and sourness, but in terms of that really lovely limey citrusy perfume, it's in the zest where you're gonna get most of that. So there you have it, a super easy to put together dessert to bring to your next potluck that requires almost no effort at all. Tastes great, looks beautiful, and yes, Ritz Crackers makes a delectable version of this recipe. Is one better than the other? I wouldn't say so. Let me try the... Mm -hmm. So I would say the difference between the two versions is mostly textural. The Ducales version made with the Colombian crackers is a little bit more softer, a little bit more custardy, and a little less salty than the Ritz cracker version. The Ritz cracker version is a little more dense, mm -hmm. and just a tad saltier, but flavor profile, very, very similar with that buttery, crackery flavor. Delicious. Either one is gonna be a winner. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love hearing from you. Like this video, subscribe if you're not subbed already, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>